This is Stacy Dash, and you're watching His Glory. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you, your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. The ears will tingle, both righteous and wicked, said the Lord. But I am opening the eyes of those that have been spiritually blind. Yes, the world, yes, the world which I have established will know that I am the Lord. Do not be in shock when you see certain leaders around the globe not there anymore. Do not be shocked when you see a shaking from Iran. Now, as you hear the chanting in the streets of Abaddon, and we're talking that people in the thousands are coming out. And every single chant is something to the fact that Cinema Rex, which was the name of the movie theater in 1979, from Cinema Rex to the Metropole building, we are done. We are finished with this regime. We have been abused. We have been, we have endured 43 years of lies, corruption, abuse, violation of human rights and civil rights. And the fact that you were saying earlier on that it was being more and more blamed on the regime. No, it's entirely blamed on the regime. Do not be shocked when you see a new president arise in Korea. And we want to welcome all His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south to another episode of A Window into the Supernatural. 
Joining me for the second time on the show is Dr. Manuel Johnson of Mega Praise Ministry. He's a pastor, he's an author, and he is a prophetic voice in these times. Welcome back, Dr. Manuel. Praise the Lord. These are glory days. Come on. You guys all say it with me. I say it on every live stream. These are glory days. Glory days and not gloomy days. Why do we say that? Because glory for the righteous, on the righteous, we're glory carriers and gloomy for the wicked. Hallelujah. And we are living in glory days. And glory days means, what does it mean? It means supernatural days. Woo! Glory. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Anytime, yes. Anytime God allows his glory to, to manifest is a supernatural manifestation taking place. And so we're on the right live stream for this. Glory to God. Thank you, yes. Jordan. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, we are. Oh, Dr. Manuel. And I know that right now we just... Everybody just got to see a short video of some of these supernatural occurrences that you're talking about because it was summarizing some fulfilled prophecy for me. That's is right. Is that right? This okay. is true. Can you tell us a little bit about what they, what everybody just saw? What you just saw there was spoken December of 2021. So, uh, so we had edited it so we can see the fulfillment of it. And you saw the speaking of it in December of 2021 in Torrance, California, which is one of our, our ministry locations. I'm ministering and I'm preaching and all of a sudden I get this download. I tell the camera to start rolling because God is starting to speak. And several things God and the Lord were saying this is going to take place in 2022 to let you let his children know that his hand is on our nation and on the world. And what I like about it is the, the when the prophecy is not based off of always, you know, uh, cotton candy. It's uh, it's very trans. It's prophecy is transparent. It's the, the 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 good, the bad, the victory, and the ugly. It just tells you what God is doing. And so you're not going to get you're going to get more from prophecy than you're going to get from the media. And that's why because the media is not supernatural, but prophecy is. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I it's, love that. Yes, prophecy is. So the thing about it is uh you're seeing that. So who the those that were in our service and we we posted that in December, you know, with the prophecies. Then we reposted it uh a few weeks ago, the fulfillment of what was posted and seven months ago, showing that God is working behind the scenes. Now the one you saw regarding Iran. Iran, when, th when this is actually happening right now, but Iran shut down their media so the world didn't know about it. So it was certain media that was had inside, they had inside, uh, uh, you know, to get in and to, to, to film it, was able to post it. But it didn't go any to the mainstream medias because the world would, would side with Iran with the Iranian uh, residents about the, the regime change. Didn't know anything about that December of 2021. Just the Lord told me there'll be a shakening. And so there it is. Wow. The Lord said there'll be many leaders around the world not there anymore. And you see several leaders are stepping down and resigning this year. Exactly what the word, what the prophecy was uh, in December of 2021. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes. You know, wow. uh, uh, who, who's watching Korea? Not too many people, but God is. God's eyes on He said there will be a new president arise in Korea in March of 2022. It happened. The old president lost the election and brought God brought in the, the new president, and he is for the God of heaven. Whoa, the other president was communist. That's what they told me. He's from the, and the, this president that's been newly, newly elected is for the God of heaven. So guess what? Now I'm going to extend what's going on. You just saw, you just only saw the climax of he was elected, but there was links that were sent to me. He says, since this new president has been elected, there's been a revival in certain parts of Korea. Wow. Look at that. That's, that's a supernatural invading the natural. Yes. So oh. we need this saints. We need this. We already went over Roe versus Array. That was turned over. That was also prophesied seven months ago. What you see now will be turned over. You will have to change your history books. That was prophesied several months ago, Jordan. I mean, 
Come on. You can't get any, you know, accurate than that. Even though no. prophecy was in part, but because his prophecy is coming from what? A supernatural kingdom. God's kingdom is a supernatural kingdom. It overrides the natural kingdom. This kingdom here you see that we live on is passing. But we, but God wants us to live in the supernatural, walk in the supernatural, and speak the supernatural. Woo! Glory yes. to God. And, and Dr. Manuel, you're, you said that this came to pass in about seven months, and seven is the number of completion. Come on. So Come on. that's interesting. That is interesting because, see, God is doing things. There are times the Lord will give a word, but he will not give a date, our month, our year. In this particular prophecies that came out, God was given a year. These are things that will happen in the year 2022. But mm. God gave this line of prophecies December of 2021, knowing we were about to change over into a new year, getting his children ready for what he's about to do. Woo! Glory mm. to God. Oh, you know, have, you, have you had anything... Have you received any recent prophecies within the the beginning of August or even in July about yes, anything? Yes, yes, yes. I was on a live stream, um, and I'm trying to see if I can find that. I'm glad you mentioned that. I was on live stream uh, recently uh, from near the mountain, and God gave me uh, such a download. Wow. Even what, you know, whoa, here it is, here it is. And and oh, what boy. do you mean? What do you mean by near the mountain? Is that what you said? The mountain is that like in the spiritual, or is this a physical place? I pray a lot in the mountains, you know. Okay. Uh, um, and so I want to make it clear because my wife would want me to make it clear that's not her calling. God draw just you know, and she's like, I go to the mountains. Uh, my wife is like, I love you, honey, but good luck with all that. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> She's a she's a she's an anointed city girl. So, but the thing about it is, um, that's just something God draws me, and a lot of revelation God has given me on different mountains in California. Mm. Um, didn't know that that was going to be my one of my uh, secret places, but it is. Yes. And so the Lord had me on there, and and if you like, I will read to you what went well. The the wow. I will read to you what's going down here. What the Lord Please. showed me. Yes, okay, August. This is August 6, 2022. Alrighty. First of all, I was. I'm praying. I'm praying. I, I was. I was. I've been. I've been praying. Uh, I released this uh, a little bit after 9 a.m. on August 6, Saturday morning. I was there several hours prior to releasing that. And on the mountain itself, we had a terrible signal, so I couldn't live stream it on the mountain. So I had to wait until I got get, to get down from the mountain to get a clear signal. So I got a clear signal. It took about an hour and a half, but I got a clear signal and was able to give re, uh, speak the downloads that came to me. It was very powerful. Okay. August 6, 2022. His Glory TV. You guys are going to receive it. God shows me I, I'm in a vision as I'm praying. God takes me in a vision. I see the courts of heaven. There are different levels of courts. I'm seeing the courts of heaven. Wow. I mean, there is so much going down right now in the courts of heaven. It's not the court of heaven. It's the courts of heaven. There's more than one courts of heaven. And now God had me assigned. So I'm listening. I hear the word nuclear. I hear the word one world order. But the way it came to me wasn't, it was more of a question mark. Nuclear? One world order? That's the question mark that came to me. And then it, it goes, there was a calendar. I saw two calendars, Jordan. It was, here it is. It was the devil's calendar. And it was God's calendar. And on the devil's calendar, I saw the devil's calendar. He wanted the beast, the false prophet, and he wanted to bring in the Antichrist on the scene. This was his calendar for our generation. Then I saw God's calendar, 
And that was marvelous. That was marvelous. The Lord started to speak it to me through his spirit. And he says, the calendar that the, the, false, the false prophet, the Antichrist, he made it very clear. This, is, this was the Satan's calendar. Each generation he tries to bring on uh, a, how the, the way the Lord showed it to me was each generation he tries to bring on a vessel because he doesn't know God's timing. So he wants to prepare himself. This is the reason why certain Christians miss it. And the way you miss it is by, you know, watching the media all the time. And which God gives me the word media night. Watching the media all the time, you, you're on the devil's calendar. But when you are watching God and your eyes are on God, then you're on his calendar. The Bible says that Issachar, the tribe of Issachar, knew the times. They understand the times. And we have to be that saints. Glory to God. You have to understand the times with the, you're living in and the season we're living in. So God showed me two calendars. I saw God's calendar. And let me tell you something. I'm about God's business and I love it. I love God's calendar. What I saw on God's calendar, I'm going to tell you what I saw on God's calendar. Woo! Okay. There is not going to be a tribulation in our generation. Our generation. I didn't say there will not be a great tribulation. I said it's not going to happen in our time. The Lord made this very, very clear. So I'm going to read it as the Lord gave it to me. The Lord revealed, this is his words to me. My son, again, these, and I ask the Lord, Lord, people are saying these are end times and we're in and, uh, the days of uh, tribulation. God revealed it. He says, my son. These are end times, but not the end of time. Whoa. You know? And so I says, my servant Daniel felt the same way. This generation will not, this generation will not experience and see what will come on this earth. My son, that will be, a, there will be a time of my judgment and wrath upon the enemies of the Lord. And I heard this again made it very clear, it is not your generation. This generation will experience my harvest. This generation will experience my goodness and my wealth transfer. Now I'm gonna go into that. I'm getting excited. Woo! I am oh, too. Oh, God. you have me all amped up over here. Yes. So, oh. Yes. And so, yeah. so more, so he's downloading more revelation. I heard the words again, economy adjustment my children have nothing to fear i heard those words again tell my people they have nothing to fear i responded when the lord spoke to me not as i'm talking now through my vocal cords i responded in the spirit thinking in my mind i responded i said lord they know this they know they have nothing to fear then the lord responded to me you cannot hide anything from the Lord. Whether you can think it, speak it, or come from your heart, God knows it all. The Lord responded what was coming from my heart. Wow, I said, you know, the Lord, they know this, they know this. So he responds to me, glory to God. He says, no, say, they don't know. Many of my people are walking and living in fear. Tell them, I am with them. They have nothing to fear. Woo! I am doing a new thing in their generation for those, for, for those who put their trust in me. Wow. Oh. So God is saying, if you keep your eye on me, you will not just see my presence. You will not just have my peace. Because I've studied the scriptures, Jordan, and there's three levels of peace that God gives you. Peace from God, peace, peace of God, and peace in God. Woo! Oh, yes, yes, Dr. Manuel. And this is so, such a, a timely word because so many Christians are living in fear. I mean, I, I see right. so much of that. And there, you know, it's, I think it's just, that is making way for this harvest for when, you know, God is using that to open people's eyes. But 
it's we're still in that in that process you know uh, people don't understand the authority and the power from the holy spirit that they have over this fear well you see we're living we are reliving the red sea exodus moment yes yeah okay because let me tell you something when moses went to egypt glory to god the first thing God told Moses to do is to tell the promise. Okay. Tell, because if people don't understand, there's a difference right now. Okay. Some of the things that, uh, that people are facing and trying, you know, and I said, people, listen, some of the trials are the tests that you're facing. And m most people think this is a problem in their life. But as a child of God, you and I have to understand we don't have problems, problems. We have tests. God said you'll go through a test. God said you'll go through a trial. Okay. So when you're part of the kingdom of God, your problem is not a problem. Your, you know, whatever test you go to is not part of a problem. It's part of the promise. Because God is really because God has promises on your life. You see, you have, we have to understand there are two forces here, okay? We're on, we're, we're on the greater force. Anybody that follows the devil, that's the weaker power. Oh, you know, we have the ultimate power, Holy Ghost. Oh, shut up. Okay, you and I, don't you understand when we wake up in the morning, we're on the side that wins. It doesn't matter what the enemy does. At the end of the day, he's a loser. Oh, oh. He's a loser. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, we're he on is. the side that wins. Okay, the enemy's kingdom is 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 passing. All righty, all the stuff he's done is passing. Okay, everything we do with God matters. We we're on a kingdom that will never end. You know, so I love that fact. We have that promise in Romans 8 that all things will work itself out for the good, for those that love the Lord and walking according to his promise. What? His promise, his purpose, is the destiny for our life. Thank you, Jesus. So don't think your challenge is a promise. No, I mean, a problem is part of the promise, okay? Because God has promises that he hasn't even revealed to you. God has resources that you don't even know about. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, and I love that, that you say the, the problem, it's not problems, it's the, the test. Yes. And because- Yes, that's right. The, the oh, test yeah. is not part of the problem. Your circumstance is not part of the problem. It's part of the promise. Anything we go to is to lead you towards the main promise of God on your life. When we study the scripture, oh, I love this. When we study the scriptures, what you, you saw the situation that, that, that Joseph was in? I mean, he, and I mean, he went from, I mean, he went from, the pit to Potiphar's house, from Paul's house to the prison, to the prison to the palace. So Joseph's what we what we, what we would have thought pro what problems was always leading to the ultimate promise. The ultimate promise that he was going to be a ruler. Oh, and uh, so God used those circumstances to get him there. And our circumstances is to get us to our final platform of the promises of God. So it's not part of the. So, so don't think your things, your circumstances is part of the problem. It's part of the promise, okay? When you're serving the devil, it's part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when you're serving the Lord, it's part of the promise. Oh, because there's not one child of God who does not have promises attached to their life. Not one. Every child of God has promises. When Every you, child of God. When did you, Dr. Emanuel, when did you start experiencing the the holy spirit and seeing all of this like for yourself were you young when this started happening like a little boy or what, how did that happen for you when you really started stepping into your authority oh, oh okay well that's a that's a that's a really good question um when i got born again i really got born again and i'm not saying it in an arrogant way i really got born again I literally got born again. I mean, three things I experienced. I experienced 
unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, and unconditional acceptance all at once. I thought my mom and dad loved me more than anybody in the world. I was wrong. When I experienced Jesus, that love came to me unconditional. Unconditional. Mm, okay. You know what? I want to keep hearing about this, but let's leave everybody with a little cliffhanger here. And we're going to cut to a few commercial breaks. And when we come back, you can continue this story because I, I want to hear about this. We'll be right back. Do you worry about your loved ones if you're not around? Who will be there to protect them from the rising cost of living, final expenses, or securing your savings, maintaining the quality of life you've provided? Estate Planning Inc. has spent the last 30 years placing thousands of people like you with the right insurance policies you can trust. We've gained firsthand inside experience of what it takes to successfully get great life insurance products into the hands of our clients. Whether life, term, whole, mortgage insurance, final expenses, or annuities, we have you covered. Enjoy life without uncertainty and the burden of what if. Get protected. Feel safe. Estate Planning, Inc. Zero in is a product that's really what it says it is. It helps you zero in on performance, zero in on what you're focused on. Zero in is really simple. It's dopamine and serotonin on demand. You want mental focus, clarity, cognitive function, feel good, sleep good. We're made to be amazing. We just haven't unlocked the potential until now. Beverly Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Emmanuel Johnson of Mega Praise Ministries. And when we left off before the commercial break, he was just beginning to tell us about when he started being open to the Holy Spirit and stepping into his authority. So Dr. Emmanuel, please just continue that story. You were you were telling us that you were experienced three things all at once. And three, yeah. Three and levels anyway. came to me and it was all supernatural. A supernatural, unconditional un love, a supernatural, unconditional acceptance, and supernatural, unconditional forgiveness. And it blew my mind. I have never, ever, ever had that. And I was in my early teens. I mean, excuse me, my early, early 20s when that had happened. And so I noticed the church I went to was a really nice church. And it was a really nice church. But I didn't understand spirit field, our prophecies. I didn't know anything like that, but I knew something in me was drawing me. I wanted more than what I was getting on Sunday. I wanted more than what I was getting on Wednesday. I was kind of restless at my job. I enjoyed my job. I did it great, but I, my spirit was restless. And I remember telling my coworkers, I'll never forget this. I said, I told him, I go, I need to take some time off. And that wasn't for vacation. I wanted to pray and see. I had what happened with Paul on the road to Damascus. He was before he was called, he was sold in. The, his experience was what happened to me. I immediately wanted to desire to go and seek God, but I didn't have a mentor at that time. The church I went to did not understand what, what, or I believe they would not understand what I was going through. I was going through what they call spiritual birth pains. And I knew there was something more God was doing in me, but I wasn't going to find out unless I saw him. Now you remember, I'm on a person of prayer. I didn't know about all this, but I felt that I, I didn't speak in tongues. I didn't have the gift of tongues during that time. I didn't know. So I asked for seven days off at the job. They granted it to me. And I was so looking forward. And I'm like, what am I going to do? So 
it came to me. So now I know it was the voice of the Holy Spirit. And it came to me the days that I, the hours that I'm normally at work, dedicate that to the Lord on your vacation. And I did that. So I'm normally at work at 5 a.m. in the morning. So I get up in the morning and instead of going to work, I'm off for one week. I started praying. I didn't know what to do or how to pray. So at that time, I had a roommate in my uh, my apartment, so I couldn't do that. So I actually went downstairs and I had my own private garage, went in my garage and I just started, I'm talking five in the morning. I'm just started crying out to the Lord. I'm going, I'm crying out. I, I don't know tongues. So I'm just using English. Ah, Lord, I want you. I can still remember those days. Oh, Lord, what's going on? But I got to have you. I'm literally Judy Jordan for hours crying out i am weeping i'm i'm giving whatever praise songs that i know this this you know i didn't know that many then but just 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 crying out and i did this for hours every day for four days and then on the i would the next day on the fourth day i'm about to get up my alarm's gonna get up get me up and i'm gonna go visit the lord and you know pray again i nothing was happening but I was praying. I felt really good, but you know, I didn't have anything like out of the norm. That's the first time it happened. Just before I got up, the Lord visited me on that Thursday morning before 5 a.m. and pulled me right out of my body. I'll never forget it. And he pulled me and I saw my body. I saw it. And so I had that experience. I'm being brought back and I saw some magnificent things. From that point on, when God brought me back in my body, the Holy Spirit that was on me, I was changed for life. I was not the same. Tongues came later, but the spirit in me was burning up. And then I had another dose of the spirit. I'm at work. Fortunately, my coworker was assistant pastor in his church, and he was a wonderful Spanish man. And he said, Manuel, you need more of the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. I go, I thought I had the Holy Spirit. He said, no, you need it. You got, you got introduced to the Holy Spirit, but you need the baptism to, for your calling and all that. And so I said, well, what do I need to do? He said, you need to pray. He said, well, what are we going to do? He said, at lunchtime, let's go down to the chapel and we'll pray. I got on my knees. He, he said, now, he said, Manny Johnson, he says, ask for the Holy Spirit. So I said, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, nothing. I didn't feel anything. Holy Spirit come into my life. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't feel anything. When I went home and I went to bed that night, that's what it was. I was baptized in the presence of the Holy Spirit like never before. I woke up for the very first time ever in my life shaking i was shaking in my bed when I, and i was i felt it was heat coming from top to bottom i took a shower and that wasn't enough i'm shaking i'm at work i'm like oh my god i don't know how i got you my eight hours but i'm like oh and it was the holy ghost it was on me i'm going home driving it's on me it's not it's not leaving me the presence is on me. i'm like okay you know i'm like surrendering lord what do you want from me what do you tell me what you have for me you know talk to me tell me and the lord was you know and just from that point on it has never left me i've been on fire i've been on fire i don't know the meaning of code I'm oh, sorry. I don't even know the meaning of lukewarm. Inshallah, my ba. I'm. That's just how I am. That's just how I am. Just even on this live stream, I can feel the presence of the Holy Ghost on me, because you know He loves for me to to to, to talk about the Lord and and the, and the Holy the power of the Holy Ghost. And since I'm just encouraging you, there's nothing like the Holy Spirit. There is nothing like the fire of God on you. There is nothing like it on this earth. I don't care. What kind of coffee you say you drink in the morning? It will not compare. It, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit has caffeine that's from heaven that you don't know about. Woo! I'm telling you. I, I, it's a natural high. A natural high. And, and I'm telling you, I'm already full of energy. But you add my energy with the Holy Spirit, and you know, that's why my wife says she gets tired by watching me. So I'm just letting you know how things are. You know, but that's just how I am. I love the Holy Spirit. 
And I love the, 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 the glory and the supernatural things that God has showed me. I've seen so much, you know, I, the, the latest is this. This is the latest. This is the latest right now. now is now that this, oil? Yes, that's the latest. From heaven? It's from heaven. It will not run out. No. It keeps refilling itself. Oh. And I've traveled from different states to different states and done ministry. I've seen it. Uh, uh, a bowl has seen it. Julie Green has seen it. They've all ministered with me at many the minute uh, the minutes uh, the uh, meetings. They saw the oil. We're pouring it on hundreds of people. They saw the oil and then they saw it rise up again. They're seeing it. this is it. It goes down and it comes up. It goes down. And it comes back up. Oh. And when did this, when did you just have that empty jar? And then one day you looked over and you noticed it was filled with oil. How, what was the story with the beginning of that? We went out that night and we bought a bottle of oil. Okay. Okay. And there's a lot of people and we wasn't just touching them like touch, touch, touch. No. We were, we were, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they were, they were getting the oil. I mean, I mean, they had so much oil. You thought you, you, you know, you would thought we were a mechanic giving oil change. It was, I mean, I, I mean, there was so much oil slipping and sliding in there. So I'm telling you, it was going down. And so we were like, well, this is going to be enough oil. And next thing you know, we look at it. Whoop, whoop. And so people were taking oil, putting you know, putting it in their cups, putting it in their uh, little capsules, you know, taking oil home and all that. And I put some of that oil in, in, in here, you know. And we took it from different states. And the oil would not dry up. So we have known it purses. We have known it eyes. We have known it everything. We've had people that would send uh, a picture request. Can you please anoint my loved one? They're sick with that anointed oil. And 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 and, and the hat that we're going to send you, Jordan, which is which is whether it's white or black, we're going to anoint it with oil. Oh, with this oil. Thank you. We're going to anoint that with that oil. This oh, oil right now. Yes. We're, I'm sure we're going to anoint her. Yes, we're going to anoint her hat. Oh, yes. Know? Hallelujah. Oh, that hallelujah. is so exciting. Yes. And so. I'm, I'm serious. So we have seen uh, miracles beyond miracles and supernatural situations. The oil is a point of connection. People, listen, Paul had handkerchiefs. Moses had the rod. Okay? The woman with the issue of blood grabbed Jesus to lead. Peter's shadow was a point of connection. We can go on and on. You know, God uses point of connections. And so, um, remember that remember that the dear lady in uh Second Kings. Oh, I love this. She had credit, she had creditor issues. Remember that she went to Elijah. Elijah said, What do you have? I got a little oil. That's it. He said, Go borrow vases. That was the oil was a part of connection. She bought a bunch of vases, and what happened? The oil filled up. It kept pouring in. She went to Elijah. Elijah says, "Sell the oil, pay your debt, and live off the rest." Which makes me that, which means she had a what a retirement fund. God supernaturally took care of her, off of oil. And so we we read it about what happened in the Bible, but now it's happening in our time. Woo! And when did this happen? When, when did this year? You, this, this, year. this year. Okay. This year. Mm. Yeah, me, Julie, Bo, we went to Florida and we don't know, we don't know everybody up in that place. Mm. And, and we saw the thing, it was just when we feel this out. We had to stop service for a minute because we were in awe. We go, what's the oil half full? Yes. What happened? It's full. Did he might go buy that? No, no, Pastor Manny. We just anointed 300 people. The oil is half full. We ain't talking about a little bottle here. We're talking about a big bottle. The oil is half full. 
It was half full. What happened? We don't know. The oil went back up. We went to the next state with the same bottle. Boom, 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 boom. Oil went down. Happened again. Oh! Went to the third state. Same thing. Boom, boom, boom. Hundreds of people being anointed. Oil went back up again. You know, so I said, you know, so everybody's wanting that oil, 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 oil and I got, and I got mine. Woo! Would, would you say this is the um, one of the biggest signs and wonders that you've seen in your meetings? Or? In my meetings, we have seen gold dust. Uh, but a lot of our meetings, we have creative healings, yeah, but that's okay. internally. But this is just, but this is one of the first times that we've saw this. And, and, and it's not, and it's saying, I'm going to tell you something. When God does something, he gives you the whole enchiladas. And it, it was to tell us that, that God was telling us that his wells never run dry. Oh! And that he has resources, and I said it earlier, that we don't even know about. So whatever you're facing today, God has a resource that you don't even know about. You know, I, I love that because when you and I, when we read, oh, I'll, and I'll tell you, when we, when we read Genesis and we see Hagar and we see Ishmael and they had to leave. And when they left, they ran out of water. And so she saw, it must've been very hot that day because she saw her husband, her, her son, you know, crying out Ishmael. And so the angel of the Lord visited her. What's wrong? Hagar she said, I don't want to die. My son to die. He said, grab your, gra grab your son, which was her promise. And the Bible said when she grabbed her son, God opened her eyes. She saw a well that she didn't see before. That's supernatural. If God was supernaturally supply a need for a person that really wasn't the promised child, how much more you and I are the promises of God? How much us as a child of God Will God provide? If he will provide for a boy that wasn't part of the covenant promise, how much more you and I that are under the covenant? Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and I know that you see a lot of healings and you just you just said that as well. Are there any in particular that stand out in your mind? Well, we did. We see a lot of cancer healing. Um, those that had it and they don't have it anymore. We've seen a lot of bone healings where God would replace the bone, backbone, neck bone, whatever it is. Deep, we've seen miraculous healings in those areas. We've seen back straighten up. We've seen a lot of people come off crutches, canes, and walkers. Uh, that happened when we were in uh, the Clay Clark. Uh, a meeting and I I don't know what was that Virginia was it Virginia, Virginia was it Beach. yeah it could have been Virginia yeah. Beach because yeah but anyway there was we had a healing service uh a Dave was there Amanda Grace was there it was a healing service out on the beach and the lady on the beach had was just had issues we and I was there with them and there was so many people out there on the beach they would do it. Also had a baptism service. So she came to me and she's like, oh, man, I took the cane. I took her cane. Now you got to understand when you have, when you can't walk or you have a hard time walking, when you're in the sand, it's going to be even hard. So I took the cane and I threw it. I said, this is the way that I let the Lord use me. Give me your cane. And I threw the cane. I said, lady, now walk. Jordan. She started to first, like a little child, I said, more. I grabbed her hand more, more, more. Then she did it without me. And she says she felt the power of God go through her leg. And it was both of her legs that was having issues. Her legs and her knees. The place around there, all that place, it went, it kind of went wild. Ah! Oh, ah, because she's... Now she's walking on sand without a cane. Oh. Oh. At, the, at the end of that service, she took her cane and threw it in the trash 
with her family and walked to her car. And it was, it was powerful. Oh, wow. Well, okay. That is extremely powerful. And as you were sharing that, Dr. Manuel, I was just kind of just feeling from the spirit. Would you mind right now just praying over, over the airwaves, praying over people specifically, and maybe for, for healing of the things that you just said? Saints, I'm going to tell you something. The Lord paid a price he didn't owe, and we owed a debt that we couldn't pay. And he went and he died for our sins. And saints, but there's a benefit with that. Not only do we have access to heaven, but we have access to healing. We have access to the power of God, unlimited. So right now, on, on this live stream right now, I'll, listen, there's no distance in an anointing. Shalom, There's no distance. Right now, I want you to believe with us right now. Just believe with us right now. It's a point of connection. And many of you right now are being touched by the Holy Ghost. Right now, many of you are being touched by the Holy Spirit right now. Hallelujah. 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 Just receive it right now. I feel a, an anointing going through my hands. So if it's safe, put your hand on the screen as a point of connection. That's what it is. Yes. And I want you right now to claim your healing. I want you right now. Many of you right now, the, the Lord is loosing bondages from many people are being loose from bondage right now oppression is going right now we rebuke oppression in jesus mighty name. we rebuke drug addiction in jesus mighty name we rebuke it right now in jesus mighty name hallelujah we rebuke the spirit of suicide we rebuke it in jesus mighty name go in the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah 2020 vision is being restored right now in jesus mighty name ears are popping right now ears are popping hallelujah uh, someone's left ear is being restored in jesus mighty my brain is leaving jesus mighty name receive it right now in jesus mighty name gum disease is being restored in jesus mighty name and jesus mighty name bleeding gums are going in jesus mighty name Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's so one person that has, has a crooked back and straightening right now. That's a creative healing. Receive it, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. It's a woman right now. It's a woman. That's right. You're on the cane. Your back is crooked. Straighten up right now. There's an angel behind. There's a healing angel behind you. And it's your back is being strengthened right now. And Jesus' mighty name. That's right. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. And through the power of the Holy Ghost. Straighten up. Straighten up. That's right. Hallelujah. Some of you that are watching this live and some of you that are watching the replay of it, receive it right now. Don't worry. For, Jerry, yes. Jerry, yes. Jerry, I'm calling your name. Monica. Yes, yes. Monica, in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your name is Ark. Ark. Mr. Ark. Yes, like O-R-K. Ark. Yes, it's you. Yes, Yes, you're watching this pro broadcast right now. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Michael, receive it. Yes, receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. I know there's more. There's a person. Wow, you you, you got a month's name. Your, your name is called July. Your name is called July. Would you receive it right now, Mr. July? That's right, Mr. July. That's right. Yeah, don't worry about people teasing you about it. That's a good name. Hallelujah. Just say, all right, look, hotter than July. Well, glory to God. Whoa, glory to God. There's a fire of God on you, July. You got a calling on your life. Yes, yes, that's right. You got a calling on your life. Thank you, Lord. The Lord's hand is on you, July. Hallelujah. I know I'm calling you July and it's August. You're receiving in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, the Holy Ghost has a sister humor. Whoa, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone watch me. There's a woman watch me right now. You know, you got itching uh, scalp. Hallelujah. God is God is relieving you of that itching right now in Jesus' mighty name. You're gonna your hair is gonna start growing. You're gonna get thickening of your hair. Oh, glory to God. Just receive it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord, I give you the praise. I give you the honor. If don't worry whether we call your name or not, God is with you. Just 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 decree and declare your healing right now. This 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 broadcast is carrying a healing mantle, a supernatural healing mantle. God wants to heal you. He wants you to be made whole. Don't do not accept anything less than that. God is a supernatural healing. He's a supernatural God. We serve. We are in a supernatural kingdom that will not end. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Oh, Dr. Manuel. Yes, hallelujah. We're in agreement. Oh, my gosh. There, there's no doubt in my mind that healings 
just happened and are happening and are going to continue to happen. Oh, yes. You have brought the fire. So thank you for that. Mm. You know what? If I had it my way, I'll be on this show every week releasing the glory of the Lord because I, we've, we've, we have so many testimonies and, and, and I've had so many different experiences, you know, and I just told you what, but I'm telling you, oh boy, the experiences I've had is especially the ones when the Lord is on my motorcycle with me. Oh, yes, God likes bikes, saints. Yes, he does. You know, don't think he's just, just a chariot. He rides bikes. I found that out many years ago. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. What happened? What was your first experience on your motorcycle or one of your earlier experiences? Well, uh, well, you know, it was supernatural because God was on the bike with me and we were going to the canyons of uh, Malibu. And those canyons of Malibu, you better have 2020 vision. I've been there. I've been there on a prayer assignment, so I know what you're talking about. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. And so when you're on a bike, you don't have four wheels. You have two wheels. And the Lord was presence was on the back of the bike. His hands was around me. I felt it. And my helmet was getting fogged up. I'm going around cliffs. My helmet is getting fogged up. I'm thinking the Lord's with me. And if he doesn't supernaturally guide me, I'm going to be with him yeah. <laughs> permanently. So I don't know if there was a time when my helmet was so fogged up that God supernaturally was driving this bike. That's all I, that's the best way to explain it. I believe it. And I like, I'm like, <gasps> oh, Deep breath upon deep breath. That's one of the supernatural experiences that I had, that he was just supernaturally driving this bike. Now, you're talking about a motorcycle. We're talking about leans. We're talking about cliffs. Yeah, I believe it. I s experienced it. Mm -hmm. There was one time I experienced it. I was in my car, and it was a red light. And God, the, the minute it turned red, cars stopped, mines didn't. God used that red light and put me in a vision. So the car was driving itself across the large intersection. Uh, intersection. I am caught in the vision. I'll never forget this. I am caught up in the vision. Angels drove, angels, they didn't drive the car. This is what had happened. Because I, when I got to the other side, the vision stopped. And I go, what just happened here? Next thing I know, I'm on the other side of the street, and I don't remember anything. I don't remember how it happened. So the Lord showed me how it happened. Later on, he showed me from a, a different vision what actually happened. I saw angels holding back the cars on both sides of the street. They would not. They didn't even blow at me. They just stood still as my, I was driving my SUV, was going across. I will never forget that. I should have been slam dunk at both ends. No, that is real. That, the, that was so real. I, 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 that is not, that's the first time it hasn't happened again. And I'm not asking the Lord to do it again, but I'm just saying it was, so, it happened to me. It did. I, 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 I've gone through so many supernatural things, you know, but I, mu I must say when God guides, he provides, he, he just does it, but he takes care of the rest. He literally, and so it has shown me how powerful the supernatural is. It has shown me how the supernatural has the authority over the natural. We just have to take it. Yes. We yes. just have to walk into it and speak it. That's you it. see? And so Ephesians 6 makes it very clear that this is a supernatural warfare, not natural. But glory to God that when you walk in the power of the Holy Ghost, you literally walk in the supernatural platforms. Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, you do. And there is nothing like it. So we just encourage everybody listening to just pray. Even if you're not sure what to pray, just ask God for that baptism of the Holy Spirit. Just 
as simple as a child, just going right before his father, doesn't need to be anything fancy, doesn't need, it doesn't matter. Just simply saying, Lord, would you just show me your Holy Spirit and it will make your life an adventure and bring so much joy and excitement. Like Dr. Manuel, some of these things that he's sharing just like that. I mean, it's Mm -hmm. never a dull moment. So Dr. Manuel, I am so upset that we have to wrap this up because this is just, this has just been amazing. But I know that I'm sure we're going to have you back on again. And I'm hoping that we're all, we're going to get to see you in New York next weekend. Okay. So. Well, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to do our best. And, you know, you can tell them where they can order their glory day hats because I'm going to tell you something. Celebrations is coming. Some serious celebration in this nation is coming. And so I've been telling people, get their glory day hats and celebrate with us. Glory day, not gloomy days. Glory for the, for, for the righteous and gloomy for the wicked. I'm telling you, saints, this was a heavenly product. It was a heavenly product. I'm seriously, I'm not in the hat business, but apparently God is. And, and, and I'm telling you, you know, the helmet of stuff, the headquarters are where the head is. That's our headquarters. Hallelujah. But I've, I live in the supernatural. Since we, since people have been ordering hats, we have been getting tons of supernatural testimonies. Tons of it. Supernatural healings. Tons of it. People, uh, well, all, all timers have, have reversed because they put the hat on. We've been getting this. And we sing joining one too. We're going to anoint it. I don't know which she wants, white or black, but we're going to send it to her. Glory oh. to God. Oh, so get your hats and you can get it from megapraiseministries.com. Megapraiseministries.com. I'm telling you, this is a God thing. Not a man thing. It's a God thing. So guess what? If it's a God thing, I'm part of it. I want in of it. I want, whoa, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Dr. Manuel. You have blessed us today. You, I know you've blessed me. And I just want to thank all of you for tuning in today to another episode of Window into the Supernatural. We'll see you next time.